And of course, we've also seen a lot of uh, inflation on items like travel, fuel and food. So Australians will not be happy reading these figures. Politician spending is under the microscope this morning as the nation endures a cost of living crisis. We're live to Josh Martin and Parliament House. Josh, the, the top spenders have been revealed. Good morning to you, Chris. Well, these figures never go down well with the public, but especially not now with the current cost of living crisis. The Prime Minister topped the list of spending for the period between July and September last year. My mother dreamt of a better life for me. And I hope that my journey in life inspires Australians to reach for the stars. It includes everything from plane and car travel to office renovations, printing, internet and phone costs. Anthony Albanese spending more than 700, nearly $700,000. That's my style. I hope you've noticed that. Opposition leader Peter Dutton came in at number three with nearly 360000 I mean, you, you know that Labor always spends money more money sure. when they're in government. That's why they tax more, because oh. they've got a spending problem. And Environment Minister Tanya Plibersek was close behind. There is a list of government big spenders uh, that's been released this morning. Tanya, your name has popped up on a few occasions. There you are. Um, are your expenses as low as can be? Uh, they are, absolutely. And I think about every dollar of taxpayers' money that I spend. Simple fact is, my electorate is the central business district of Sydney in the inner suburbs, so I don't think it's any surprise that my rent is a bit higher than it would be mm. uh, if I was in a regional community. And as Environment Minister, I'm required to travel to some of the most remote locations in Australia. Um, I, I just wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't do uh, some of that travel, mm. but I am careful all the time. Everything is within entitlement. I think part of the problem is if, if we were only in Canberra, if federal members of parliament never left Canberra, there'd be a different complaint that people were making. Victorian Labor backbencher Peter Khalil has raised some eyebrows. He spent more than some ministers and nearly 100, more than $100,000 on printing and stationery. Rural MPs with large electorates spent a lot on travel. Nationals MP Colin Boyce spent nearly 30000 in travel allowance. And independent Bob Catter spent more than $40,000. Particularly in these tough economic times, uh, you know, all politicians, like anyone who holds a public office or draws a salary from the taxpayer, needs to be mindful of how they're spending public dollars. Chris, these spending revelations come as Australians have been slugged with 13 interest rate rises since May 2022. And of course, we've also seen a lot of uh, inflation on items like travel, fuel and food. So Australians will not be happy reading these figures. Australians are really doing it tough and we need a better government. <laughs>